Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael here, and today we're going to talk about PS4 Hen version 2.20 beta, and we are going to focus on the plugin system and some of the cool new things that I've recently seen. So, just to get everybody up to speed, PS4 Hen is one of the two primarily used hens for PlayStation 4, and Hen is a homebrew enabler. So PS4 Hen being one of those, and then Gold Hen being the second one. Now with Gold Hen, you have a lot more features, but the project is currently closed source, which means that if people wants to add new firmware support, they have to wait for Sistro. Whereas with things like PS4 Hen, which is managed up here by the Scene Collective, anybody can contribute to the repo, as well as they can add in support for some of those later firmwares. And we saw this because PS4 Hen was the very first to support 12.02 and 12.00, and it also supports a ton of different firmwares in between, starting at 5.05. .05. Now with Gold Hen, if we scroll down here into the releases, we can see that the supported firmware from that is just these very specific firmwares. Now, again, I do know that there was a brand new beta that came out just the other day where Sistro released 12.00 in 12.02 support, and I even did a video on that if you want to check that out. But the very nice thing with PS4 Hen is, is that, again, anybody can contribute to it, and with that, we see some progress that is being made over here in the PS4 in plugin. Illusion has been working on something that is called Plugin Mono, which does things like patches the shell UI to allow more features, such as installing new packages from the hard disk, USB storage, and even be able to adjust PS4 in payload settings through the tool. Now, if you are wondering what this looks like and what does this mean, well, for those that are familiar with Goldian, you'll notice that it adds this entry up here in the top, that when you go into that entry, you have a bunch of different settings that you can come in and configure. Now, all of this is made use with the shell UI, which is really what Illusion has just implemented. And so again, these items right here look just like this inside of your PlayStation 4. There is an option here called In Settings, which includes payload options. And then there is Install Packages from the Hard Disk, which goes in the Data PKG directory. And then finally, one that installs packages from the USB storage. Now, what is really interesting about this payload options here is, is that it is now starting to look a bit more like Gold Hand because you will be able to come in here and toggle these menu items here. And you don't have to do things like mess with a nasty INI file or an XML file. Okay, by now you are probably wondering how do I go ahead and get started with this? Well, what you are going to have to do is, is that since right now this has not been merged into the main project, you will have to take Illusion's fork that he has on his own repo, and it's just here at PS4 Hen Fork, and you'll want to take the very latest release here. So we can see that the latest build is this one, dash 94, and if we go over here to Assets, you would just want to click right here and download the hen.bin file. Now, if you are wondering how do you use all of the plugins that is at least located in here, you do not have to copy these over manually or anything like that. With that very latest build, it automatically copies these over, and there's really not much more that you have to do. Now, we'll say that if you are using this hen.bin and you are on one of the later firmwares, which I'll demo this on my 12.02 system. For that firmware, we do need to use something called Lua plus the Lapse Exploit for the PlayStation 4. And again, I have a video on how I created my save game, which I will share with you. 
Now, the only other thing that we will need to do is, is that we will need to come over here and rename that hen.bin file that we just downloaded to payload.bin and put that on the root of our USB drive. Okay, let's switch over to the PlayStation 4 and check it out. Okay, so I'm over on a PlayStation 4 right here that is 12.02, and obviously it is not jailbroken yet or anything like that. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to launch my Lua game. So let's just go ahead and get our game loaded up here. Okay, there we go. Firmware 12.02, PS4 Auto Lua Laps. And the payload is up to date because I've already ran this. And there we get Welcome to Hen 2.20 Beta. And right here is where some of the new magic is coming in. So it says Hen will restart the shell UI in five seconds. And so if we give it just a moment here, we can see it starting to come back. And give it just a moment. And there we go. We can see it's serving our K-Log server. There is our FTP server that is running. And now it finished the boot effect and it says shell UI is ready. Okay, so what is really cool is, is that up here at the top, you will see where it says system information. It's got a release check mode, the hard disk drive space. It has more information about the IP address and there is the MAC address. The serial number is not showing. It does have the correct model number, and there we are with the PS4 HIN version 2.20 beta. Okay, that is really nice. And so, as you can see here, it does stay on the main menu. And so, now let's go ahead and go over here to settings. And right there is the brand new setting, which is called HIN settings. So, we can press cross to enter that or X and right up there at the top you will see payload options we'll go into that one in just a moment that does require a restart and then there is install packages from the hard disk so if you have package files in the data slash pkg then it will pick them up or you can install packages from the root of the usb storage Okay, so let's just go ahead and maybe we will pick the root of the USB storage and there is our PKG. Okay, so I do not need to get that one installed. So let's just go ahead and let's go back up here to payload options. Okay, here is where all of the new options are. Now the first one here states that it enables the exploit fixes. So this attempts to repatch bad missing patches. It should have been made by the exploit. There is another one here to enable memory mapping patches. That one is owned by default. Block firmware updates. We absolutely want to check in that because that will unmount the update partition. And then there is disable user LAN ASLR. So disabling it can improve compatibility with homebrew apps and more and then if you do have a system that doesn't have a blu-ray drive that is working you can come in here and enable no bd patches which will allow you to do things like run a system update without a working blu-ray drive now this one is pretty interesting as this is a target id spoofer and so from here you can change your target id to any of these different types of regions if you would like to. There is another option here to skip the user land patches which is great for test kit users. And then there is the option to write in plugin files to the hard disk drive. Uh, default this one is on and this is the reason that the plugins just automatically worked without us having to do anything. And then finally there is an option here where you can enable the plugin system by toggling this on or off. Now, for some of you power users, you might be wondering where all of this information is stored. So if we go back over here to PS4 Explorer 2.0, for example, and we are gonna to go to root access, and we go ahead and we go over to our data folder, there is a folder called hen, 
And then inside of that hen, here are the PRX files or the plugin files. Now, it copied those over automatically for us. But again, you could turn that off if you had very specific versions. But where all of the settings are being kept, it is just right over here in this hen.ini file. So if you want a little bit more information about what each one of those options are, well, you can come in here and you can get that information. So here you can also toggle those in case you don't want to use the menu. But again, it's a very, very nice to start seeing some of the enhancements that's being made to this open sourced hen. Now again, all of your homebrew apps as well as your FPKG games, will be working and running just like they always have been. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a taste of some of the things that I've been seeing lately in PS4 Hen. It looks like a very exciting project, and especially with some of these plugins coming in. Anyways, thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Michael, ow! Thanks so very much for hanging around. How about a quick tip? So I've got my Lua game in here, but the title is definitely not something that I can read. I would like for this to say maybe something like Start Jailbreak. So one easy way to do that is to go over to Settings and then Hen Settings and go ahead and download Items Flow for the PlayStation 4. And then you're gonna to wanna to put it in your slash data slash PKG directory just as shown right here, and we're gonna press X. And so I'm gonna go ahead and install items flow for the PlayStation 4 here. So let's go ahead and get that installed. And we're gonna go back to our main menu, and right there it is available. So we're gonna press X on that to start items flow. And right there is all of the items that we have installed. So Let's go ahead now and let's find our Lua game. And then let's scroll down to where it says change app name to press OK here. And we're just going to remove everything that it had in the name. And we're just going to go ahead and type in here start jailbreak. And then we'll press done here. And we will need to reboot for that to show up. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to restart. Okay, and right there it is. It now states start jailbreak. And by the way, this does not in any way, shape, or form mess up the exploit from running. I know there was a couple of warnings about it, but so far I haven't had any problems whatsoever. Okay, so there we go. There is an extra quick tip. Don't forget to share this content and subscribe if you haven't already.